did a video refuting this Roman Catholic heresy that Jesus Christ burned in hell to pay for sins. The uh, Catholic Church and a lot of the apostate Protestants say that Jesus Christ had to go to hell for three days and three nights to pay for sins. I'm going to show you that this teaching is Roman Catholic, and when you have heretics like Stephen Anderson and some of these other guys who are repeating that, watch out, because they're repeating a Roman Catholic heresy. This is the Catholic Church Catechism, uh, paragraph 512. It says, Concerning Christ's life, the Creed speaks only about the mysteries of the Incarnation, Conception, and Birth, and the Fascal Mystery, uh, Passion, Crucifixion, Death, Burial, Descent into Hell, Resurrection, and Ascension. So they're teaching that he had descended into hell. This is also repeated in paragraph 631. It says, Jesus descended into the lower parts of the earth. Yeah, he went to Abraham's bosom. He didn't go to hell. He gathered up the Old Testament saints. That's not him going to hell. Uh, he who descended is he who ascended far above all the heavens. The Apostles' Creed confesses the same in the same article. Christ descent into hell. So they're teaching clear that Christ went to hell to pay for sins. His sacrifice was not enough on the cross. He didn't. It was not finished on the cross. He had to go to hell to pay for sins. Uh, that's a heresy. And it basically is denying the uh, finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. And if you want a good proof text to refute this, this whole thing of Jesus Christ having to go to hell to pay for sins, John chapter 19, verse 30. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Jesus Christ said it is finished on the cross. He didn't have to go to hell after the cross. You wonder why he said it was finished? Because the blood brings in the New Testament. You know, Hebrews chapter 9 talks about that. Hebrews 9, I believe it's, uh, I don't remember the exact verse, but it's Hebrews chapter 9, how it talks about the, the uh, death of the testator brings in the New Testament. Well, it was the shed blood that washes away your sins. It's the shed blood that brings in the New Testament. So when he said it is finished, it's done because the blood was shed. He didn't have to go to hell for three days and three nights to pay for your sins. That's a Roman Catholic lie. So, don't be deceived by this Roman Catholic, by all the Roman Catholic heresies. There, there are many of them. But this is just one of them. He had to go to hell. But Jesus Christ did it is finished on the cross, not in hell. So, and you got another problem too, because if Jesus Christ is God and he went to hell, then who was running heaven? Big problem right there. So, don't be deceived. By the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.